Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Gear Up with Greg's. My name is Dave, and today we will be discussing quick couplers and the many different styles and formats that are available. Quick couplers can be found in many shop environments, whether that be automotive, industrial, or heavy duty. They're used in air systems to attach a hose full of compressed air to an pneumatic tool like an impact wrench. You may be wondering why you would have these on your airlines and tools instead of a standard threaded fitting. Well, it's because couplers are an important part of any shop as they make switching between tools quick and efficient. This helps you to speed up your workflow and streamline your day. Now that we know what they're used for, let's take a look at the anatomy of one. Quick couplers consist of two components, the socket and the plug. The socket is the female end of the coupler and it is usually found screwed onto the end of the air hose. The plug is the male half and it is usually screwed onto the end of the pneumatic tool that you would be using, such as an impact wrench like this one. Here at Greg's, we carry a wide variety of the most popular types of quick couplers, which come in many different shapes and styles. Though there are a lot of variety between the styles, the basic functionality of all couplers remains the same. When connected, the plug end is held in place mechanically by the female socket. A seal is created and the air resumes its flow. The mechanical connection between the socket and the plug can be accomplished through a variety of materials and designs. These can range from metal bars, to plastic, or even ball bearings like this one right here. Though they differ, if used properly, they all provide a leak-free airflow and help you get the job done. So, if there are so many variations between manufacturers and styles, how can we tell which one's which? To put it simply, couplers break down into three main categories. And those are style, airflow, and connection. Let's start with style. There are 10 main styles you can find on the market today. They're denoted by the letters you see here and differ from one another by the amount of SCFM, or standard cubic feet per minute, of air that they move. For example, you can see here that an A-style coupler can move about 34 standard cubic feet of air per minute, which is on the lower end of the style options. Because of this, you would typically find this style of fitting in an auto body shop where the air tools generally need slower flow rates in order to function properly. On the other end of the scale, we have the heftier G-style male coupler end or plug. First notice how different their profiles are. You can tell already that this G-style is going to move more air, and according to our chart, we can see that that's true. 99 SCFM to be exact. You would need these guys on bigger pneumatic tools that need a large amount of air to function, like in heavy duty mechanic shops as an example. It's important that you match a coupler's SCFM to the tool that you are using, as too much airflow can break an air tool and too little airflow will not let the tool function properly. The next category of couplers is the basic flow size. There are three basic flow sizes for air couplers. There's quarter inch, three-eighths, and half. Now when we are talking about the basic flow size, it is very important to note we are not talking about the thread size of the connection on the air coupler. The basic flow size refers to the air handling capacity of the coupler. It breaks it down as follows. Quarter inch is couplers up to 40 SCFM. 3 eighths is up to 60 SCFM. And half inch is 60 SCFM and up. 
The thread size and the flow size are two measurements that are completely independent of each other. This means a larger thread size will not translate to a higher airflow because your airflow is determined by the design of the coupler. Take a look at these two M-style plugs. Now we know that they can both output 40 SCFM even though one has a 1 8 NPT connection and the other end has a 3 8 NPT connection. Even though one fitting can fit on a larger hose, both will output the same amount of air per minute because they are both classified as an M-style coupler. This brings us to our last category of air couplers. You guessed it, it's connections. Not only can the connection on the bottom of the couplers be different sizes, but they can be different types as well, just like you see in front of me here. The most common ones you will see are female and male pipe connections like NPT. But there are also hose barb type connections as well. These install simply by pushing them into your hose rather than threading them like the NPT connection. Now we may know all the differences between these air couplers, but how would we go about identifying them quickly and efficiently? The important thing to know when identifying air couplers is you shouldn't focus on the manufacturer, but instead you should focus on the style. This is the key to air coupler simplicity and interchangeability. It really doesn't matter who makes the coupler so much as you are using the proper style for your application. Most manufacturers will actually make as many styles as possible in order to round out their product offering. You can have an M-style plug made by Milton and an M-style female coupler made by Arrow, and they will mate together perfectly because they are both the same style. So how do you tell between the styles? Each style has a unique profile, and this is what we use to identify them. Looking at all the major profiles, you can see why air coupler identification can be so tricky without the proper knowledge. And this is where you start, with the male plug. If you compare a bunch of female couplers side by side, it's nearly impossible to tell which styles is which. So when attempting to identify an air coupler, always start with the male end or the plug. Now sometimes you may get lucky and the identification of the plug could be stamped right onto the side of it. But if you search your plug and coupler up and down to only come out disappointed, Fear not, in our catalog, we have a true to size plug identification guide. All you have to do is hold your plug up to the chart and find what style you're currently holding. On this chart, you'll also find the measurements for each plug's tip length. This is the length above the recessed groove where your female coupler would latch. Each style of coupler has their own unique measurement for this part. And some of them can be quite similar. That's why this chart is the most effective and accurate way to identify between various plugs. So let's try it with a real world example. Let's just pretend for a second that you've inherited an old tool from your dad and you're trying to use it, but it won't connect to your hose at home. So you need to find a female coupler that it will attach to. So first, we always start with the plug. If we can identify the style from the plug, we can find a female coupler to mate with it. Let's start off by grabbing our catalog where we have that handy reference guide. We see here it has a very, very short plug tip, so that narrows our options off the start. Ooh, it's a pretty tough one between P style and G style. The plug tips are very close in length, so it's hard to tell which one it is here. Well, in this case, we have to look at the rest of the profile. This plug is much closer in width to the P style and the G style is just too wide compared to our plug. So we must have a P style plug. That means we can buy a P style female coupler from any manufacturer 
And it should provide us with leak-free airflow to get our work done. Let's just try it out. And they made up perfectly. So we're gonna dive into another scenario here. Let's say that this time you have an old air hose that you wanna use again, but you have no idea what style of socket it's attached to. Well, in this situation, without the male plug anywhere to be found, you're pretty much out of luck. With so many variations between female couplers with styles and between brands, there's no surefire way to identify what your coupler style is from the female side. For a quick and easy solution, your best bet would be to bring your coupler to your local Greg Distributors location and have one of our experienced counter staff help you out. But also, if you're in a pinch and have no other options, a solution may be to start from scratch and buy a new female and male coupler set in whatever style would best suit your needs. This might be the safest and quickest way to get you back up and running again. Alternatively, another type of socket we carry here at Greg Distributors is the universal socket, and that's these guys right here. You could install a universal socket on your hose and would never have to worry about what male plug is on your tool anymore. The universal socket is designed for those who work with multiple coupler profiles. Its ingenious design allows you to mate with almost every style of male plug there is. Now the question arises, what style of coupler is best for my specific application? Well, with so many options and tool specifications out there, it's really impossible for us to tell you in this video. If we were to go through the specs and styles of every coupler, we would be here for far too long. Instead, we implore you to contact your tool manufacturer or consult your tool manual for the specifics on what you require out of an air fitting. Then you can consult our catalog or call into our order desk where our friendly staff will help you to determine exactly what you need. Each offering in our catalog states the pressure they are rated to, the hose sizes they are offered in, and their other extra features. Something else you may be wondering is why quick couplers come in so many material types, colors, and with different features. Well, this is because it's important to consider your environments when you're buying couplers. For example, in indoor environments, hardened steel couplers may be the better choice since they are less prone to damage when a hose is dropped on the hard concrete floor. In outdoor environments, brass couplers are a great option where rusting may be a concern. Are you planning on dragging the hose around the workshop or outside? Then you might need a coupler with the drag guard feature. This comes in super handy to stop your hose from catching on hazards on the ground and accidentally disconnecting while moving around. When it comes to color, Legacy has put out a line of couplers which makes identification on the fly even easier. These colored couplers are meant to match so you never mix up dry and lubricated lines ever again. What does that mean? While well, some tools use dry air lines and some use air lines with a slight bit of oil in them to keep them internally lubricated. This means if you ever mixed up the hoses, a dry line could affect the performance of a tool that needed a lube line and vice versa. With the simple addition of these colored couplers to your setup, you wouldn't have to worry about someone accidentally destroying those expensive pneumatic tools you care so much about. Well, that's it for today. If you are still having trouble figuring out which style of coupler you have, why don't you pop into one of our many all Canadian Greg Distributors branches and talk to one of our friendly order desk staff. They will be sure to find the right solution for you. Thanks for watching this episode of Gear Up with Greg's and we will see you next time.